hello there welcome back uh, thanks for being here so in our last learning we have integrated our karate test with the uh, uh, jenkins ci tool so where once the pipeline has run we have seen the uh, feature files have executed and we have also seen the reports uh, got dumped into our uh, target directory uh, which are surefire reports and we have verified them too and we were we were also talking about how uh, pipeline can be configured in jenkins like how to push the code to vcs system and how to give that knowledge to uh, the jenkins uh, tool and how to write a cron expression uh, like uh, what is the frequency that you wanted to set and what build step to be added and we've also seen uh, some of the post uh, uh, build actions so however we have not added but still uh, we have had an understanding around so in this specific learning i have something new so this uh, this is a specific feature with respect to karate so I'm not going to go uh, and integrate this to any external system. So we are going to have this learning within this um, Karate framework. So, so far we have uh, automated couple of applications. So Jira and ServiceNow, uh, we have created an issue and we have deleted a problem. And we have also uh, queried for a list of issues present and we have also queried for a one particular issue. So we have worked with the different endpoints. So every time when we print response, we have seen uh, the response got printed in the console and we have had a uh, different fields and we have verified some of them and we had so many uh, match operations done in our previous learning but uh, there are there is a possibility still that uh, some custom functions are required uh, say for example you wanted to find the length of uh, something length of an array or in the response uh, that is uh, thrown by the system or you wanted to iterate through the response and see whether particular id or are, are not present so these kind of looping things and all so we need to handle through some coding so you might uh, again question yourself so karate can work with uh, uh, without writing any programming language but now uh, why are we discussing this uh, yes guys so however karate can handle most of this thing but still in order to make your uh, framework more powerful uh, in order to make sure that uh, you have uh, better utilities so you can write some of the java snippets and java javascript snippets as well so but how do we actually invoke them uh, because whatever the code whatever the function that you write so what happens is that so ultimately you are gonna call them in the feature file so if the case is that where uh, you are calling that in the feature file feature file only supports get in standard it only knows the plain english but how do you actually call a java function or a javascript function are the couple of things we are going to discuss and and if you know this function so we have almost called many features or many important features that are used across the industry so one example that i would be explaining in this particular session is how to uh, write a basic javascript function so uh, the problem that you are looking on my screen right now is uh, just to get the number of issues present uh, uh, num uh, just to get the number of issues present in a particular project and if I just run this uh, quickly uh, you will see a big response being printed because I would have had more number of bugs created because I, ever since this learning got started uh, we have been busy in creating uh, so many uh, uh, so many different uh, things uh, so many different bugs so every time I run script uh, you tend to see some bugs get added so we can also see MYP 97 so which means those many bucks more than 100 bucks would have present but at it but uh, the console can actually uh, afford only 50 issues a day like uh, 50 issues uh, per, per run or Jira can only uh, retrieve us 50 bucks so how do we overcome this problem and how do we uh, actually count I, I I'm not interested in the whole response I wanted to calculate uh, only the number issues present so one way how you can do that you can just navigate to that particular field path and verify what is the count of it say for example if there is a field called issues in your response then what you do from response dot issues and you try to get the value of it you store it in a variable then with the help of print keyword you print it so that is the one way of learning how to uh, find the number of issues but there is other way that where you can also find it by writing a javascript function so let's see that so I'll just explain you uh, how to uh, basically write a JavaScript function. So in order to write a JavaScript snippet inside a feature file, so all you need to do is just start with uh, giving uh, three double quotes, uh, starting and ending, so that uh, so that the feature file actually recognizes this particular code block as something. Okay. So now what I would do, I wanted to store 
uh, this outcome in a particular uh, variable too so let us do that so first of all I will say a uh, function uh, function and I will take an argument and my function what it does simply written arg dot length I have created a basic JavaScript function what that what uh, it does in the sense when you give some uh, input it it actually measures the length of it it could be string or it could be any other thing so I wanted to store the outcome of this particular thing in particular uh, variable so I would say def so star is a don't care you can have then and any keyword over there as per the uh, definition as per the workflow so def is a standard keyword uh, to specify a variable you can have it as a len so len is the keyword and where you will be storing your uh, length of it so the length of this particular function so now this I am not interested in this much response so from the response I know that uh, response dot issues is the path where I can actually identify the uh, number of issues so what I would do uh, instead of printing I will store this particular value into a part into a another variable called uh, issue uh, issue list is my variable name and I would I would equate this to response dot issues oh, sorry guys so response dot issues yeah so now what happens is that the response dot issues so the response might might contain many number of fields but when I say response dot issues the scope of the response is being limited to issues block say for example if issues is an array where you have multiple issues uh, issue number one issue number two issue number three so these issues are ordered in an array which is issues so I'm so uh, apart from issues you might have email address or you might have total you might have many number of fields but I'm not interested in all of them so now what do I do I just I'm interested in uh, this particular uh, issues itself so I need to pass this value to this function because this function is taking an argument so what I need to pass an argument say for example if I wanted to find the length of a string I need to give some string as an input so that the string can be uh, used to measure the length in a similar way I wanted to find uh, the length of the issue list say for example the length of an array issue list if you consider issue list as an array that array might contain 10 number of bugs 100 number of bugs maybe tomorrow 1000 it can be so I need to input this value to this particular JavaScript function so that the length can be verified and it can be stored in a variable called len okay so now what we have learned we have had a couple of changes first initially we have learned how to write a JavaScript function so with the help of uh, double quotes uh, have it written in uh, three times uh, once at the start of the function and once at the end of the function and what we have done we have stored the outcome of that function to another variable with the def keyword and that variable I have called it as len yeah because we are returning something here so let me correct the spelling of it return so now what is the change I've made to the uh, Gherkin syntax here so earlier I was just printing the response the whole response has so many fields if you look into this uh, if you look into any of this response uh, sorry I guess some of the response got cropped uh, uh, so if you see it has so much so many like expand ID self key but if you see field field is a block again so inside field you have so many other subfields so in a similar fashion what I've done from the path I, 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 I know that issues is one such an array where you have multiple issues so that way I can actually calculate how many number of bugs are present in my system yeah so now what so that is the reason I have limited the response to printer dot issues and then I am printing that particular issues into a, another variable so that I can feed this variable to the JavaScript function so now we are all set with designing functions and we are ready with input parameter also so now the time is uh, to call the java function javascript function sorry so i'll store uh, again this variable uh, okay let me call this function so how do i call a javascript function so my function name is len yeah so len is my function name and i wanted to uh, give uh, issue list as an input to this function and what is the uh, function that we have used in order to call something or read something so if you can recall we have used call function already so call is the function uh, that actually helps us to call
call a particular function so with the help of call keyword that is coming from karate i am actually invoking a javascript function which is len len and i am passing the input issue list because the issue list is taking an argument if at all the issue list is not taking an argument you tend to get an error because your your method cannot process a parameter but in my in my uh, method it is taking an argument which is arg so the issue list will go and store it in arg and this would be processed for arg dot length okay so now the uh, the method call is done but what it actually returns it again returns something i would be storing in another variable called uh, i will say this as issue length yeah so issue length issue length is the uh, variable that i have finally stored the outcome of this particular function so now what i would simply do uh, then uh, print print uh, issue length is so issue length simple as that guys so uh, this is this is how you can actually append a string so so far we have just we we were using a raw keyword print and then the response we are using but you can also have it written say for example in the console like i cannot actually recognize uh, from where the response has actually started if i append such a string uh, to my output response so what i can do i can uh, maybe i can use it for my search operation and i can consider uh, after which uh, the response has started so that that way i can form an understanding so now uh, we are done with uh, documenting the file calling the method passing the parameters and we are also printing this one let's run this particular feature file run as cucumber feature file so it has started running and it printed and you, you see guys the issue length is 50 so at a time jira can throw only 50 number of bugs present so you have some uh, value filter which you can send it as a query parameters to to set the how many maximum parameter you can receive at a time so you can very well understand that by going through their api documentation i think i have already sent that particular link in my previous video description box uh, and you even you can search in uh, google as well it is it is not uh, something uh, which you have to go deep inside so it is just available when you put uh, jira api documentation yeah so i hope uh, this is really good learning for you and you have learned something new and this is how you write uh, customized functions uh, using javascript and uh, you have known how to call them and how to pass the parameters and how to print the uh, uh, value and when you are printing how to append it with uh, some meaningful string uh, and i think uh, this is a uh, good collective learning uh, this tutorial so please be watching this very carefully and and don't hesitate in re-watching this again um, so thank you uh, so much for listening me throughout the session and you have a great rest of day guys.